the Open Vault, which is uh, Open's compute uh, first storage platform. That is uh, a JBot or just a bunch of disks uh, that are uh, interfaced to the server um, platform that we've made before. Uh, and so, uh, first time that there'll be an open source uh, storage type of technology behind there, and it's based uh, primarily around um, uh, the SAS protocol, huh. interfacing lots and lots of drives in a very dense way. Um, and it does a couple of unique things. Um, most of the storage hardware today uh, is just front-facing, meaning the drives uh, take up all the real estate in the front of the server, and that really limits the number of drives that you can deploy inside of a rack. Um, mm -hmm. We actually went ahead and stacked the drives deep inside of the server as well, which allows us to have more drive density, which allows us to, um, to uh, pack in more storage behind every single node but it does that in a way which is flexible. So um, you can input, you can deploy drives in chunks of 15 drives at a time, uh, and you can have a server with 15 drives, 30 drives, 45 these, drives. These are spinning disk drives. drives. Yeah. Uh, it could also be used for SSDs okay. as well. Yeah, because when I think that type of density, because uh, whenever I put two or three drives in my own kind of enclosure, yeah. uh, I'm going to melt something. How do you deal with airflow and, and, and heat in that kind of thing? You must have some kind of magic heat dissipation heat sink or something, I'm it's, guessing. It's not magic. It's all physics. Yeah. Um, and we, uh, uh, we have a lab, which, um, which we spend a lot of time in looking at the thermodynamic properties of the particular server. Yeah. We do a lot of measurements, a lot of instrumentation. Uh, in the, in rather than you know, some approaches are just to flow more air through the box and you'll be sure that it's cool. We do it in a very scientific manner that allows us to only use the required amount of air because if you're moving more than you need you're wasting energy sure uh, and so a lot of it is air management how do we duct and guide air through systems through servers around drives things like that yeah. and how do we create algorithms that control the fans in a very smart way in order not to uh, waste any energy that's actually going uh, being used to move air through the system so it's physical uh, fans not just heat sinks so. uh, it's both yeah. Both uh, and, you, and there's a trade-off, right? A large, very efficient heat sinks mean you might be able to get away with a smaller uh, fan that's using less energy.